Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Wish Logan would dump Liam. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Liam Spencer will continue to be driven insane by his anxieties on the CBS serial opera. Watching his wife Hope Logan, Annika Noel, essentially fling herself at Thomas Forrester at work every day is hurting him from the inside out. It might hurt a little less if Thomas had been the aggressor in the second scenario. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful. Liam Spencer won't back down. Hope Logan and Thomas Forrester are getting ready for Hope for the future significant Italy trip. Viewers of The Bold and The Beautiful are aware that Liam is losing his mind. Hope has had enough of pestering his wife about her flirting with Thomas at work for weeks. According to The Bold and The Beautiful spoilers, Liam will make one last-ditch effort to persuade his wife to let him come along or leave her designer at home before Hope Logan arrives at their airport. But Liam is perched precariously. Hope values her career much but it seems as though her husband prefers that she stay at home with the kids and doesn't support her fashion company. Hope Logan has had enough. B and B spoilers. Hope will be rethinking her marriage due to Liam's fears, fixation with her relationship with Thomas, current lack of support for her important trip to Italy, and apparent dismissal of her work. Thomas Forrester, the wild one, is currently looking better and better. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Liam might unintentionally force his wife right into Thomas Forrester's arms. What do B and B lovers think? Should Hope Logan end her relationship with Liam and wait to see how things turn out with Thomas this time? Liam's antics are absurd, or does Hope merit everything she has received? Following a shocking betrayal, Brooke unleashes on Taylor. Deacon questions Brooke at Il Giardino about how unlikely it is for them to get back together. He tells her that Hope arrived here due to their chemical attraction, so perhaps it's time to start a family. Deacon is told by Brooke that he is a particular friend. Brooke is touched by this, but she is curious about the source of this. Taylor is urged to act by Deacon in a flashback. Deacon bemoans the fact that he was foolish for listening to someone else and assumes she is all about Ridge. Did someone put you up to this? Wonders Brooke. Taylor cries as she tells Ridge at Forrester that she is both happy and sad. She became emotional as they discussed their shared life and their children. They discussed Thomas's fire and his journey with the collection to Italy. Taylor aspires to join Thomas and Steffi in their support. Also you. Ridge questions whether she's trying to score a free trip to Rome. Thomas' big moment is something Taylor wants to witness. She has always imagined Rome as a joyful city full of love, a little bit like our family. When Hope enters the design office, RG is rummaging through a rack of shirts in his exposed chest. She assumes that he thought she was one of the models that RG would pose for, and she implores him to choose a shirt. They discuss about his public profile and the value of his image. R.G. has to talk to his sister about something. He is in favor of Taylor and Brooke being friends, but he is curious about Hope's perception of her current situation. Hope tells R.G. that he is a good son as he selects a clothing. R.G. merely wants to, if he can, assist their mother. Hope doesn't perceive any issues. They remark that it's strange how close she and Taylor have gotten. R.G. is unsure if the ceasefire will last. They have a lot of fun together, in Hope's opinion. I would say that this friendship might actually last. Even though R.G. is happy to have a friend, is that enough? Will she manage without his father? Hope believes that for all of them, it might be a good shift. R.G. accepts things as they are and, fortunately, has hope to bring things back to normal. He believes his mother is prepared to be alone and that he is probably overthinking things. She preferring a bond with Taylor above a relationship with his father, though, makes him uncomfortable. Deacon tries to change his mind at Il Giardino, but Brooke isn't having it. She believes Hope set him up for this and makes a promise to talk to their daughter about it. Deacon corrects her and says she has this completely wrong, 
but Brick keeps insisting she'll correct Hope. Declaring with a loud voice, it's not Hope. If it's not Hope, then who is it, Brooke queries? Explained Deacon. Brooke speculates that Hollis made the decision to make room for him by moving aside. Deacon claims that it wasn't Hollis and that he, he needs to Brooke return to disregard to this. After having a light bulb moment, Brooke runs after him. It couldn't possibly be Taylor since she wouldn't want to see us together, would it? Deacon's face indicates to Brooke that she is correct. She yells in awe. Oh my God. What did Taylor do, Taylor? Taylor says to Ridge in the main office, I miss us. Our shared moments are missed by me. Oh, how I detest it, but I miss it. And I have to wonder, will we ever be able to share such things again? At the diner, Brick explains how Taylor approached Deacon and encouraged him to be honest about his thoughts and consider their future as a couple. Deacon explains, She thought she was helping me. Helping you? Brooke gasps, I knew Taylor would be true to her word. We struck a deal. When she thinks back to that particular day, she observes, I thought our friendship meant as much to her as it did to me. Taylor forcing them together, Brooke gripes. According to Deacon, it was more of a suggestion. Tay made a special journey there to speak with Brooke, according to Brooke. I understand why, and that hurts so much. We established a deal that only applied to us. We decided on ourselves. We were going to stop fighting over Ridge. But now it's happening again, Deacon, she sobs. Deacon implores her not to sever their incredible connection over an error of judgment. He is told to stop by Brooke. She must leave because it's time to unfriend and friend. Deacon shakes his head and says, I warned you, Taylor. Taylor enjoys the way Ridge looks into her soul in the main office. She remained absent and told herself she was over. In her opinion, Brooke has failed to fulfill her obligation to him. Perhaps neither of them can act like their hearts aren't wanting what they want. Taylor imagines waking up next to him after dozing off in his arms. I simply miss the little, straightforward things. You are missed. As Brooke approaches the door, Taylor remarks that Brooke hasn't kept her end of this stupid bestie pact, but that she has. She is breaking vows with no honesty and no integrity, as she always has done. Rich hasn't changed because to her. Avoid falling for that. Never again. Angrily shaking her head, Brooke. Eric buzzes Ridge from inside the office and demands to speak with him immediately. Brooke is nowhere to be found when he leaves. After he leaves, she returns and confronts Taylor. Taylor, how could you have done this? How were you able to do this? We struck a deal. Never in my life have I felt more betrayed. You are a treacherous traitor who uses backstabbing. For Brooke, today is a big day. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful. What will Brooke Logan decide to do? Brooke Logan has not had the best week because she has witnessed the breakdown of her recently formed friendship with Taylor Hayes. She allegedly ordered that Taylor inform Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline Messins Wood, to retract her remarks on Hope Logan Spencer's, Annika Noel, love for Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, which may be the reason why this is taking place. Taylor resisted Brooke's advances and let her BFF know how she really felt. Deacon Sharp was urged to pursue Brooke once more by Taylor so that Taylor would have a direct route to Ridge Forrester. And that is precisely what Deacon does when he sits down with Brooke, confesses his love for her despite the passage of time, and begs for another chance. The source of this is a mystery to Brooke, but is she about to find out? According to spoilers, Brooke also enters a stunning situation. Does she notice Taylor and Ridge interacting inappropriately together? Brooke will no longer be able to stand in Taylor's way since she is determined to get what she wants. R.G. Forrester tells the truth. B and B spoilers. Joshua Hoffman's R.G. Forrester recently made a surprise appearance in Los Angeles, much to the delight of both of his parents, Brooke and Ridge. He claimed to be only visiting but changed his mind after Ridge persuaded him to accept a position with Forrester Creations. He tries to be kind to everyone around him and is all smiles. But given that this is a soap opera, there must be more to his appearance. R.G. ultimately reveals to his sister Hope the reason for his visit, and it's a biggie. 
Is he there to cause trouble for himself? Or did he find himself into difficulty while living the life of a social media influencer while traveling through Europe?